Hey everyone, welcome to Tarot Mystic 1111. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what Scorpio needs to know. What's the present energy for Scorpio? What does Scorpio needs to know? If you want to book a person reading with me, then the link is provided in the description box below. What's the present energy for Scorpio? What does Scorpio needs to know? We have forgive full moon in Pisces. So for some of you Scorpios, you could be dealing with a Pisces and forgive is the theme that's showing up for you. Maybe you need to forgive somebody who did, um, I don't know, something <laughs> um, that might be hurting you, still be hurting you, you know, or some sort of a resentment or grudge that you might be carrying within you, or maybe some sort of forgiveness, you know, <clears throat> you need to forgive yourself for something. So forgiveness is the theme, you know, you need to uh, maybe work on your heart chakra, to really release all that pent up frustration and whatever you know resentment or grudge you could be holding on holding on to um then we have believe in your good luck so i feel that um scorpio right now your mood could be a little um you know serious and somber and you could be feeling like okay why does it happen to me or why things go wrong or you know things are not working in your favor so Angels want you to know that um, you need to believe in your good luck, believe that, you know, things will um, shift for the better. There's a change that's that's um, coming uh, your way and uh, you just need to have that faith because faith, you know, changes a lot of things. It changes our perspective. It um, conditions our mind to believe that there there are good things out there and we, we really deserve those things, right? So you need to believe in your good luck, have faith and Try to work on your forgiveness. Um, maybe you can listen to some guided meditations, some heart chakra meditations on YouTube, right? All right, so let's see. Um, messages from the tarot. What does Scorpio needs to know? This is for Scorpio. What's the present energy for Scorpio? What does Scorpio needs to know? What's the present energy for Scorpio? We have the Five of Swords. We have Nine of Pentacles. We have the Devil, King of Pentacles, and we have Two of Wands. Okay, bottom of the deck we have the Hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, um, Scorpio, or you could be having a strong Virgo in your chart. But I feel that um, with the Virgo energy here, you could be... Um, you know, there, you could be just doing a lot of thinking these days. Maybe uh, you're you're in self, uh, you know, you're in uh, in isolation, in hermit mode. You're doing a lot of introspection, self-reflecting on a lot of things, and you're on this journey of self-discovery. And maybe you just want to be left alone for now. You could be loving your own company. You could be just spending time uh, by yourself and um, kind kind of you know really quiet these days, Scorpio. And really, you don't want to just go out and socialize. So for some of you, I see that you're just kind of enjoying your own company. You're in solitude and just loving your loving this solitude. And uh, definitely, you're trying to be 
I think single because we also have the nine of pentacles. So for some of you, I feel that you just don't want to connect with anybody right now or you don't want to be in a partnership right now, right? So that's the energy I'm picking up for you. Yeah, again, with the four of swords, it's it's clear. It's it's very, very clear, uh, Scorpio, that yeah, you are, you just want to spend time by yourself. You could be, for some of you, you're doing a lot of um, deep analysis and it's really uh, this 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 spending time in solitude it's helping you heal basically so i feel that for for some of you you're just taking some time out to rest rejuvenate maybe doing some deep um, thinking introspection spending time by yourself and and that's really helping you evolve as a person and also kind of cleansing your vessel and um, this me time is really helping you connect with your inner self Right. So, uh, yeah. And, and that's where this forgiveness comes in. Right. So you could be doing a lot of, uh, you know, you could be healing your heart and working on forgiveness. You could be looking back and thinking about the opportunities that you miss, thinking about what the people uh, that have left your life and, you know, past failed relationships. So there's a lot of thinking and, and analysis and evaluation that's going on right now. And you're in solitude, of course. You, you're, you're not connecting with anybody right now. Yeah. And this is you. Uh, this is helping you see a lot of lot of truth, and see things with clarity. So I feel uh, even though you're in isolation, you're not in. Um, you know, uh, you don't want to connect yourself with other people right now. I feel in um in the midst of this this isolation, this solitude, you're seeing the truth. You're seeing things with clarity. You know, um, I mean things that you were not clear about earlier things that uh, were kind of um, it was there was there was lack of clarity and you were not certain about about few things you're seeing a, you're seeing this truth you know there's a lot of clarity that's that's coming through maybe for some of you spending time in isolation with yourself has has led to some sort of a breakthrough right and um, and yeah and then we have the princess of swords so yeah so some sort of information has been received by you scorpio uh, I do see that um, something has been revealed to you, even, um, you know, even though, and th this could be something that you have intuitively fed or, or so, this information has, has come as a, as an intuitive download towards you, right? So, yeah, so I feel that you're in, in, right now you're in connection with your spirits, your crown chakra is lit and you're doing a lot of um, introspection, self-analysis and you things seeing things crystal clear and i feel you're you're utilizing this time by just going within and uh, trying to really forgive yourself and other people for whatever happened right and then we have the five of swords so i feel um there could be a little bit of uh, an adversity or maybe some sort of a change that's happening for you um scorpio right maybe um things have uh, definitely shifted in your life and this change or there were there had been you have been through some sort of a loss recently and this change hasn't been really easy for you right a lot of things have shifted uh, in your life maybe you have lost a lot of relationships and um, you know you're also overthinking you could be overthinking about this all and uh, but this has actually helped you evolve and now you're single again you you have really been through a lot i feel there has been some sort of a challenging uh, um, lesson that you had learned recently and now it's helping you uh, you know stand on your own two feet you know this has made you realize Scorpio how strong and independent you are and you can be right you don't really need the um, you don't really need anybody to make you uh, see your value your your self-worth right so you're enjoying your own solitude your own company you're single and you don't really i mean there has of course you know definitely have there has been some sort of a challenge recently some obstacle that you had to overcome so some sort of a defeat or a change that that has happened recently and that has made you reflect on a lot of things but now you know that you know you you're just kind of enjoying and uh, enjoying the um rewards of of your hard work and you could be focused on your physical and material world and yeah you you're single you know you don't want to be in any relationship you just want to be left alone and you're enjoying your own company you know you could be putting in a lot of effort in your own self care and growth and expanding right and then we have the devil but also just to let you know i feel um for some of you scorpios okay i feel that there are two possibilities 
first that you you are thinking too negatively maybe you 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 right now so independent that you feel like you don't really don't need anybody or these could be your own negative uh, thinking patterns that's that's kind of um, you know creating some blocks in uh, attracting somebody or uh, you know towards you so i feel you need to work on these breaking these patterns in your life these these negative thoughts and believe in your good luck believe that there is somebody out there who you will eventually find and you know who's going to come your way and change your life so and the other possibility i see for some of you you were in a toxic relationship where the other person was just trying to i mean this was a toxic codependent relationship and it really you really needed to um you know let this person go because this was not um, giving you anything i mean this was like there was no balance in the relationship it kind of uh, led to your um, decrease in your self growth and of course it, this person was really a kind of you know toxic for you so i feel that you have come out of this toxic relationship now and it, although there is still you know you have this negative thinking or maybe some forgiveness that you still need to do but then you 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 kind of right now independent single you are not attached to this toxic energy anymore and i feel um with the king of pentacles this was somebody who maybe had a lot of money uh, or this person was mature could be uh, older to you but i feel that this person uh even though they had a lot of money or this person could be wealthy or not but when it came to um you know working towards this relationship they didn't they couldn't give you anything except money maybe that was that was a thing and you decided that you know okay fine i'm just walking away and i'm just like moving on from this toxic person right and also i feel this person could have could be also obsessed with you so with the two of wands i feel uh, scorpio you still kind of deciding like what is the you know what is the next direction what is the um next change that's coming your way or what you need to do next so there is this um you're at a crossroads right now where you're still deciding which way to go towards and which direction to move into so there has been this change right and right now basically there is no action going on because you're you know giving things some time before you can make a move before you can come to a decision right so that's what i'm picking up here let's see what else do we need to know what is for scorpio here please clarify this reading for scorpio for some of you i see that you could be dealing with a capricorn or somebody with earth energy in their chart taurus virgo but emphasis on capricorn okay what else do we need to know about scorpio ooh okay we have the nine of swords yeah my god you have been through some really really turbulent times scorpio something that has that has just kind of left you um you know anxious depressed we have the seven of swords but just be aware i feel this person was really really um a two-faced person we have the six of swords yeah but whatever this toxic energy was scorpio whatever this toxic person or whoever this person was i feel you're moving on you're moving on you've left this toxic person this toxic energy behind you're moving on and uh, yeah this person was really you know hiding a lot of things from you we have the hangman and we have eight of swords yeah bottom of the deck we have the knight of wands so yeah a very in and out energy this person was inconsistent they were not uh they never kept their promises right uh they were one moment they were in their life the next moment they were out of your life they just walked away they just you know um you were just walking on eggshells and this person was just i mean i feel this person kind of breadcrumbed you and uh yeah very very inconsistent wishy washy energy here uh, scorpio so that's why you were having a little bit of a difficulty forgiving this person maybe even forgiving yourself like you might be asking yourself what took me so long to get rid of this person why was i in this relationship for such a long time right and it, this person really i mean this change that has um, you know ha has been there this this turbulent time that you've recently went through 
I feel this has brought a lot of um, anxiety on the surface for you, Scorpio. You you could be dealing with even depression or you could be overthinking certain things, your fears, or there's anxiety and you just cannot, you know, this person really made you go crazy. And um, I feel they also kept a lot of secrets from you. This person was not being honest about what, how they felt for you, how they treated you in the relationship. They kept a lot of... Um, you know, they, they, they were not being honest, basically. So yeah, a two-faced person here. There were a lot of lies and cheating and everything involved here. And I feel that, you know, now you're single, you, you can see things clearly. And I feel you're moving moving on from this toxic energy. You're leaving them behind, right? You could literally be, uh, you know, relocating to a new place or just uh, kind of moving away from this person physically. But uh, I feel there's still some, some sort of resistance here when it comes to starting a new life, uh, Scorpio. And there, there could be a lot of fears and anxieties, you know, that's, that's just in your own mind. That, 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 that's keeping you stuck in the, same, uh, <clears throat> in the same thought pattern, right? So just be aware of your own thoughts, deceptive thoughts also could be. And I feel you, you just need to release um, the, the need to know all the answers, right? And uh, also, I feel there is something that you're not able to see. So maybe if you can shift your perspective, if you can just let things be for now, because I, I feel right now there's not much action happening for you, Scorpio, because this is the time that you're actually doing. Uh, I mean, this is the time of analysis, introspection, assessing, evaluating, observing things from a higher perspective, from a different perspective. And, you know, you'll see a change when you're out of this hermit mode, Scorpio. And you and and when a shift will take place in your life, I feel you you're going to see things, a lot of things from a from a new perspective, right? Your your perception is going to change. So take that blindfold off because I feel you're you're kind of overthinking about a lot of things and these fears and anxieties are it's just in your head and nothing to really worry about. You need to believe in your own good luck. Believe that. Things are changing for you. Things are shifting for you. Whatever this toxic energy was or toxic person, it's, it's you know, you are never going to, again, going to attract such person in your life because you've leveled up. You've put in the effort and, you know, in your own growth and expansion and you've you've also healed and maybe for some of you are still healing, right? You're, you're trying to forgive yourself. You're trying to forgive this person and, and you're seeing a lot of truth, right? You're seeing truth and clarity is coming to you. And I feel you're moving on towards better and calmer waters. Right, Scorpio? So there's nothing to worry about. All right. So um, that was it, Scorpio. That was your reading. Uh, let me know in the comments below if it resonates or not. If it did, then please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in your next one. Thank you so much for watching.